Why are you guys down there? No, everyone. No, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you serious? Uh, uh, these Lego characters, they're not very smart. Good day, friends. Today is a special day because today, for the first time, I am trying a different way of recording the audio. So I hope this is going to work. There's still a chance that I will ruin it completely and there will be no audio for this video. And then you will never know that I recorded this video. Oh, what's that? Is that a race? Oh, that's one of those races. Oh, I see a golden brick. Okay, anyway, if you have missed the previous episodes, then I can't really explain them to you. That would take too long. You, you just have to watch the videos. It's the entire... We just completed Jurassic Park. Now we're continuing on to The Lost World Jurassic Park. The second movie, um, the Lego version is coming up. Well, Dr. Malcolm... Here to share a few campfire stories with my uncle. I was there, I know what happened, and so do you. Ingen is my responsibility now, Doctor, and I will jealously defend its interests. Oh, oh so mean. Right They're bullies. Did you ever expect to hear me say such a thing? Isla Nubla was just a showroom, something for the tourists. Site B was the factory floor. That was on Ina Sauna. A few weeks ago, a British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. <laughs> Do not feed. Used the incident to take control of Injun from me. Okay, so there's another island with dinosaurs, no fences this time, and you want to send people in. I need a complete photo record of those animals. You didn't contact Sarah. She'll be fine. And believe me, the research team was not a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation, and it's leaving right now. We have to save Sarah from the dinosaur island. Oh, John, how can you make the same mistake again? He's sending people to a dinosaur you island shave again. Three days off my deadline. Expect everything to be ready. I'm not fully supplied. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't field tested any of this stuff. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. Uh, of course. Okay, I'm Eddie Carr. This is Ian Malcolm, of course, from the last movie or game, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we have to do three, three cars. There's something about three cars. I don't know what, though. I don't know what. Academic chem characters such as Ian Malcolm can solve complex equations. Okay. Oh, this is a complex equation indeed. Black, red, blue, green. Really? That's that's what I have to do? Oh, that was a complex equation indeed. Oh, that was... Good thing I went to university for that. Is that a teddy bear? Why? I'm so confused. We just started. I'm already confused. I'm already confused. What's going on? There's colors... Okay, 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 I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. Okay, so the car has to be green, right? And here you have colors yellow, red, and blue. So I have to mix blue and yellow to make green. Am I right? Let's try it out. Yellow. Okay, if I make this one yellow and this one... Again. Blue. Blue. There we go. Now it's green. And now I j jump on this, maybe? Do you think that works? Oh... Boom. A car painter Larry. That's his name. That's his full name in real life. Okay, so that's one car. That's one car. Okay, so if I understand the story correctly, um, I've never been good at understanding the story of the second Jurassic Park movie, but basically there's another island, of course. Uh, you have Isla Nublar, which is where the Jurassic Park was and for the customers where the park it was you know and then there was another uh, island where they made the dinosaurs and where they did other stuff not for the customers not for the visitors and that's where the dinosaurs are now roaming free and still John Hammond still sends people there because he's a doofus and he's, he's it's like he's forgotten about last time he's still sending people to the dinosaurs 
And I think uh, this lady that's making pictures, John Hammond is sending people there because he wants pictures of all the dinosaurs. And I think it's Ian Malcolm's, this guy, his wife or his ex-wife, I think it was his wife, who was also sent to the island. So when he heard just now that she was on the island, he was like, no, not my wife or my ex-wife or whatever she is. No, I don't want her to be on the dinosaur island. She's going to die. Wait, does he have a gun? He has a gun, so he can... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tires. Ah, I get tires and money. Money, money. Okay. You? Oh, okay, what do I do? <gasps> okay, run on the tire. Yeah, no, this makes sense. Oh, here. Here, 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 here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, no, one more tire. Ah, okay, this is actually fun. Okay. Press U to pr Yeah, I knew that. Press U to... I know that because when I walk next to it, it already says U. So I don't know why you're reminding me. The game already explained it to me. Mr. DNA Sequence, you're not doing a good job this time. I need you to be more helpful in this in this game, okay? Last game you were pretty helpful. I need you to be more helpful now. From <laughs> rubber? From rubber. How do you get a splinter from a, a, a wheel? It's, there's no wood in there. Okay, so two cars done. Okay, two cars done. <laughs> the engine bits. Okay, um, only engineers carrying a wrench, such as Eddie Carr, can repair broken Lego objects. Okay, it's funny that his name so, is Carr, I guess. Okay, <laughs> he just he just hits it. He just goes like, like bam, bam. That's how you fix stuff. You just hit it with a wrench. A typical engineer. Okay, so that's three cars. Don't drive over me. Nick Van Owen. Oh, he's the black hair guy. He's a photographer as well. Oh, this explains so much. He's that guy that I needed for everything. Do you guys remember that from the last game that we played, Lego Jurassic Park? There was a black haired guy that I needed for everything. Every time it said, come back when you have unlocked this black hair dude. And it's this guy. Is his hair even black? No wonder I didn't recognize- he doesn't look anything like what he looks like in uh, the movies, I think. Does he even have black hair? I think maybe... Yeah, no, I think he does have black hair, but... Oh man, okay. Anyway, now I'm him and now I can solve almost all my problems because I needed him for almost everything. I think I might have a problem with candy bars. What? Candy bars? There should be at least another two in there. What's going on? Okay, a sturdy object like a, a crowbar, such as the one carried by... Uh, what was his nick, uh, name again? Nick, right? Nick something? Can be used to force open Lego doors by pressing K. Okay. Like this. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Or you could break it. Have to fix it later. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, okay, this looks mechanical. This is probably something I have to do something about. It's no use. That engine Mechanic Joe. You got any idea how to push that in without pulling a hamstring? Uh man. I never should have taken home the engine hoist to shift my couch. I don't know. Only characters carrying a, a wire cutter such as Nick Nick Van Owen. That's what it said. That's what it said. Nick Van Owen can snip a secure lock. Okay. All right, all right, we can do this. Burp. There we go. Oh, so this is how you do it. Give me stuff. What's in here? I, if I had to come in here, surely there's something useful in here. Uh huh. Oh, he's using his wrench again. He's going to hit it. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> That's how you fix stuff. What does what does it do? Boxes. Uh. Alright, so I just shoot the boxes. You ever heard of health and safety? <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. Bam! Okay, I can probably build... Oh, I'm building something to help move that thing over there. I think. To the left. Yes, and then I sort of just push it. Ah. There we go. We solved it. 
What does that do? I don't even know what it is. She's home. Oh, that's the elevator engine. Okay, okay, okay. Tick, 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 tick. And this is how you get up. Okay. Signs cannot pass. Not for me. Bam. <laughs> Those signs don't count for me. Oh, wait. I can do something with this, right? Why are you guys down there? No, everyone. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you serious? Uh, uh, these Lego characters, they're not very smart. Okay. Okay. This guy, Nick Van Owen. I'm going to try to remember all of their names this time. Nick Van Owen. Ooh, I got a... But what was it called? Mini kit? I think it was called a mini kit. Um, how do you... I still don't know what those blue diamonds shooting targets are for. Okay, wait. So can I shoot this, you think? No, what, what does it do? I don't know. I don't know what it does. Can I shoot this? This looks very shootable. Okay, but here you have like climbing things. And you go over here. And then over there, where does it go? All the way over there. I don't know what it where it goes, but I need an agile character to do that. No, we need a roof, otherwise the T-Rex just will eat us. At the very least, we should consider making it a convertible. No, we need a roof, otherwise the T-Rex just can just eat us from in there. Oh man. Okay, how do we put the roof? On the thing. Let me show you guys how to fix something. <laughs> bam! 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 <laughs> Kick. That's how you fix stuff. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, so I can put the roof on it there. Oh, that is the roof. The thing that I was just stepped on. That is the roof. Okay. I'm not even doing anything at this point. It's just sort of doing all the work itself. Oh, now I have to press press one button. Okay. Gee, this is so challenging right now. I have to press the W button. Why do all bold characters have their head like this line in their head? I don't know. <laughs> is that really how Lego bold hair works? Do they have a block for it? We probably have like a block that you put on top of the head to make them bold or something. Where are you going anyway? It's only for a few days, but I wouldn't be going if it wasn't a if it wasn't uh, really Dr. important. Malcolm. Uh, why why is there a pig again? Why is there always a pig? Don't bring the pig to the island just for once. I don't know what the pig is. It Reuben from Minecraft? I don't know. This oh, so cool. the girl is going inside the camper or whatever it's called. That's Isla Sorna, where we're going, the dinosaur island. Okay. We're going to Isla Sorna, you guys. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm ready. I'm not sure if I'm ready to go to Isla Sorna. Oh, that looks bad. There's so many dinosaurs there. There's so many more than in Jurassic Park as well. Okay, well, I think I'm going to do the rest in the next episode. I uh, hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.